here's the thing. There's two paths that I've been trying to take. This channel started out strictly as a Subaru modification channel. And I had no plans of changing that. And I still don't. But here's the thing. I always enjoyed making media like pictures and videos. So as soon as I made the upgrade to the Sony a7 III, I couldn't help but start to make camera videos as well. So I keep going back and forth. I'm on these two trails. So today I thought of the perfect opportunity to showcase both of my passion, my car and photography and video. So today I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks on how to get the perfect picture for your car. Also, towards the middle of this video, I need to ask your opinion on something very important about the next modification to my car. It's a big step and I don't wanna make the wrong move and waste a lot of my money. So for all the people here who have information on modifying your cars and who like to see that, please help me out later on in the video. But until then, let's get started. So there are three rules that you need to follow if you want to take the best car pictures and have them stand out on Instagram, in your portfolio, wherever. Those three rules are angle, location, and time of day. These three things are equally as important. If you slack off in one thing, you have to work harder in the other two. You want all three to be perfect. Take this picture for example. I have a great angle, great time of the day. The lighting is almost perfect, but there's nothing going on for the location. Yeah, it's on a lake, that's cool. It's it's almost submerged in the water. That's cool too, but the sky is completely empty. So this made me work harder in the location aspect. I needed to do more editing. If you're good and you don't mind a little bit of extra work, you can add a little bit of clouds in there. You can add a little gradient. You can add some birds. And there you go. You have a great picture of your car. But right off the bat, you want to make sure each three rules are good to go. That way you won't have to put in extra work to get that great picture. So it's pretty much obvious that you always want the best time of the day, sort of golden hour when that sun is about to set. Basically like the two hours around that time period. That is the time of the day rule. Try to get that spot on. And location, the eyes in the beholder with location. If you think it's a great spot, if you think there's a lot going on, shoot there. Go for it. Shoot that shot. Those two rules are the easy rules. The main go-to rule, the angling of your car. That is where we need to dive in a little bit deeper. If you own a car, if you're all about your car, you most likely think that your car looks great from every angle, and that may be true. But your job as a photographer is to take that picture at the best angle, the angle that accentuates the curves of your car, makes your car look like something out of a movie. That is your job. So walk around your car and you decide what the best angle is. But before you do that, let's go to the lake and let me show you some of my go-to angles. So bonus tip number one, whenever you're taking pictures of your car, make sure the rim is facing the camera. So if I was taking a picture from this angle, the rim would be perfectly facing the camera. A lot of people get it the wrong way and they turn their wheels away from the camera. That way you can't showcase the rims you have. So when taking a picture of your car, make sure you turn your wheel so that the rims face the camera. So let's talk angles. Right off the bat, we got our front quarter angle. If you think your car looks good from the front, this is a great angle to start with. After that, we got the front half. This is my favorite angle. If you go to my Instagram, most of my car pictures are this angle because I believe my car looks the best from this angle. Another great go-to is the front three-quarter angle. If your car looks great from the side, this is your angle. More angles to check out are your full frontal angles, your full backside angles, and your full side angles. These are not my favorite angles, but not everyone has a Subaru Impreza. Maybe your car looks super nice from these angles. Bonus tip number two. If you're like me and think you can't get the perfect shot, like earlier, I was taking these pictures while I was at the lake. And yeah, they're good pictures, but there's not enough going on. The location isn't too good. So bonus tip number two. Switch it up a little and try to do something creative. Step outside of your element, step outside your zone, and shoot through something. Like, check this out. I just found this bridge. 
Never been here before, but just found it as I was driving. And I'm gonna try to get a picture like this so that the leading lines of the railings point you straight to my car, which is the subject. So it's starting to rain, and I don't think I got the shot I wanted. I don't know, you tell me. You like this shot? I really like the leading lines and stuff, but still not what I want. And this rain is really putting a damper on things. So I'm gonna have to pull out my secret weapon for photography. But we're gonna have to wait till it gets a little darker. Before I unveil my secret weapon and show you the biggest tip and trick on how to get insane car pictures, we're gonna have to wait till it gets a little darker. So why don't we head back to the house and talk about what's on my mind about modifying this car. So in the next couple episodes, I plan on doing a full aerodynamic kit around my car. I want to put a lip kit under the side skirts with a flare on the back end of the lip kit and I also want to put a splitter on the front of my car under the bumper. But before I can do that front splitter, I need a front lip. This is the problem. The only compatible front lip for my car is about $340. It's the STI front lip. There's another one on Subi Speed or something like that that's also $340. It's basically the same thing. I don't want to spend that kind of money. If you have any idea of what type of lip that I should look at that might be close to fitting my car or that I could even modify to fit my car, please let me know. I don't care if I have to chop it in half and shorten it or try to stretch it. That's fine with me. Any suggestion will be greatly appreciated. Just leave a comment down below. I will get right back to you, I promise. It will be a huge help. I cannot wait to get started. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's dark now, so let's get back to the video. Okay, so we are now in Philadelphia, and it just rained, so the ground is shiny, which I'm excited about. My secret weapon, when I really want to get creative, is long exposure, and you'll see what I mean. But right now, I need to go ask my buddy if we can go park in his garage. He manages a parking garage in Philly, so let's see if we can. What's up? What is that? Rabbit fur? What is that? <laughs> it's a bike. Here, take my pass. Yes. Bring it back. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> That's love right there. So right now I'm on the top of the parking garage and I have my light wand. If you want to start doing long exposure shoots, you should get one of these things. It changes all different types of colors and you can charge the battery. It's a little pricey, it's about 100 bucks, but this thing will come in handy. So basically, I'm gonna hold the shutter open for five to eight seconds, and I'm gonna be doing this. And hopefully I'll get some good stuff. Let's try it. So all of these pictures are shot at about eight second shutter speed. That's insane. I was able to capture some really good pictures. And also this one, check this one out. This one probably won't make it to my Instagram, but I just thought it was so cool because I look like a ghost or something just hanging out at the side of the picture. Okay, so I think I got enough pictures of my car. We'll see it in a little bit, but now I wanna mess around with this thing and get me in some pictures. So if you thought this video was helpful for you, like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I will keep making these videos every week, I guarantee it. Big, big, big things coming for the Subaru Impreza in the next couple weeks, and I cannot wait. Peace.